Hello guys, welcome back to Phantom Sage Powers, where we discuss comics, heroes, villains, battles, tournaments, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We are at part 16 of my X of Swords review. Let's get into it. We start this issue in the realm of the Holy Republic of Fae, and we're following magic. Hi, this seems to be the killing place, but I guess I'm looking for the other killing place. This card is supposed to tell me what to do, but the directions are trash. I'm a little upside down, but I'll figure it out as I go. And I will stab whoever needs stabbing. And we find ourselves in the floating kingdom of Roma Regina. Hello, Regina's. Wait. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Pog your pog is the more fit. Your sole chance is to forfeit. Fat chance, Dino. It's hog, right? Pog. Pog your pog. Are you sure? Because it's hogs that get butchered. What pog your pog beats, pog your pog eats. You are adversary and confectionary. Stay your swords. This is a contest of arms. Hands clasped, shoulders square, elbows in the pocket, pin to win. Arm wrestling, seriously? Why can't I just stab him? This is a fixed contest. It involves no skill. It's like seeing who can take the bigger Pog your pog will tear baby arm from its socket and then keep it in his pocket. On the count of three, two, one. Pog one, one, one. In the realm of blight spoke i can feel you watching witch where are you i am everywhere wolverine and you are nowhere blight spoke is the realm of collapsed realities you're everywhere i'm nowhere you already know i don't like your bull game well i don't like your bull riddles either you want me to fight then bring on the damp. Ah! Ah! You think it's Summoner you're fighting to the death? But it's actually Blight Spoke. How long can two unbreakable figures survive these broken domains? As the ruined wheel of Blight Spoke turns, would you look to the stars and think to poison them? Would you study a mountain range and guess you could slay it with a spear? Or pray for death of a god? Perhaps only a drunk and weeping fool would fire a shotgun at the moon. But there are ways to end even the gigantic and the immeasurable. Just as stars go black and mountains crumble to dust, realities can die. Blight spoke is their cemetery and their hospice. Nothing is unkillable, certainly not these champions Wolverine and Summoner. Here they fight each other even as they fight existence itself among the celestial and cellular and psychic and dimensional and elemental. If this, the fight for Arako and Krakoa, is a war of worlds, then the warring worlds of Blightspoke are a fitting arena to determine that fate. And what is this that holds the unfathomable together? Not fabric, but a fluid, the blood of the blighted. It pulses with its own special graven flavor. So Blightspoke is a realm of collapsed realities across the multiverse, the omniverse. All possibilities are kind of liquid, converging and falling apart and recoming together and consolidating. It's kind of like a, an incursion that is continuous. We see all these different possibilities and different broken realms that Wolverine and Summoner are falling through. We see them rotting and decay in one. We see them made out of Lego blocks or toys. We see one, it looks like they're in the Tron universe, which is kind of cool. Cave painting versions of them. We have them in a world of, looks like mushrooms and weird stuff. They're on a chessboard in another. 
Wolverine is trying his best to get away from Summoner and Summoner is relentless. And as we know, Summoner's only weak spot is his eye. And eventually Wolverine is able to get a good line of sight and chuck his Miramasa blade straight through Summoner's eye. And it takes a minute, but eventually he does go down. All right, witch, I won. Now get me the hell out of this carnival. I said it was a fight to the death. Summoner fought to the death. You got to be f***ing kidding me. The point goes to Arako. After all that fighting and losing, you must have a terrible thirst. So, for this next challenge, let's raise a glass instead of a sword and drink. I lost by winning? You're saying I survived that reality thresher for nothing? This is beyond bull****. What are we even doing here, Storm? We're here to drown our sorrows. Me versus you, but we're on the same team. It doesn't matter. We came up we have to battle. Oh, oh, she's right. All right. And lucky you, you get to sample some of the finest, rarest liquor in all the worlds. This vintage of blightness is bloody magnificent. One of the most exquisite things you will ever put in your mouth. Seriously, a drinking contest. I know it's usually a solitary sport for you, but don't be afraid of a little competition. Just trying to wrap my head around this. No matter which one of us loses, Kokoa wins. Guess it's a gimme. Mmm, tastes like fire and nectar all at once. Tastes more like bullshit than me. Might earn another point on the boards. But what do we lose in turn? I plan on enjoying this sideline moment, wiping the floor with you. If you're that paranoid, don't drink. I tried cheating the rule storm. Didn't turn out. Besides, I can't not drink. Just saying, you're in the crooked market, there's always a cost. Just a matter of time till we figure out what's owed. <laughs> Feel kind of funny. A little empty. A little tickly around the edges too. Back at the Starlight Citadel. You were all born of the same place and you all share the same blood. So, no matter your nation, you are all enemies and you are all lovers. Or maybe that's just you making me tickly. Watch your mouth, Logan, you dirty old flirt. Or I'll tell Jean. When Kokoa fights Morocco, so does it fight itself. Solemn. War. I don't believe it will be a problem convincing you to tear each other apart. You're drunk. No, you're drunk. This is all very exciting, isn't it? A bereaved widow is offered the opportunity to avenge her lost husband. I won. No, I won. Maybe we won? But I'm sorry to say, I have other plans. Saturnine, my love. Bring me my boy. What the he- Whoa, 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 whoa. Got temporal whiplash and a bad case of the dizzies. Two questions. The hell am I doing here? And why am I hammered? I can't possibly be this hammered. So sorry to interrupt your latest bender, but the time has come to repay your debt. What was that in that hooch? What's happening to me? What happened indeed? You're trying to cheat the chess game, Solemn. Wolverine and I have an outstanding agreement, you see. He asked for a sword, and I gave it to him. And together we massacred a sulfurous mob of demons. It was good fun. But the price was that he owes me a fight. I know you're keen on revenge war. Yes, I killed your husband a century ago. But if I'm not mistaken... Wolverine here just killed your son. Is that true? Summoner? Your summoner's old lady? Begin your blades. The first to sever an appendage wins. If I'm still... Then that means my healing factor 
has sh the bed. If I've lost my son, then you lose your head. Can I get my head straight before you cut it off? Just get me a minute. Ah. You've gotten reckless, Wolverine, with your healing factor and your resurrection protocols. This is what it feels like to play for keeps. Drunken box more times than I can count, but never tried sword fighting on more than a few splashes of sake. What was in that bottle? Saturnine, what did we drink? Just as there's a cost to everything at the Crooked Market, there is a cost to trying to kill me. I wonder how your friend will fare. Storm. In turn, you'll each pay your own price. Your head. It should be mine. Adamantium spine says, F you. Ah! The point goes to Solemn. Would somebody pull this f***ing sword out of my neck? Oh snap, things are heating up in this tournament finally. So crazy that Wolverine went through all of that fighting and going through these multiple variations of himself. Kill Summoner, no points. Then had to fight War. After being interrupted with Storm having a drinking <laughs> drinking contest looking like they were about to get it in and had to fight war the mother of the person he just killed won that one too and still didn't get a point that went to solemn wolverine's getting it bad every way pretty cool issue we see that saturnine is just on her bullshit and she's definitely got this thing rigged and is playing game with our krakoan combatants so we gotta wait and see how this whole thing unfolds because they're not going to be able to get a fair chance to win at this tournament if you like this episode and you like this issue please hit me up in the comment section if you haven't subscribed already please do and i will see you in the next issue